we can go ahead and resume then. We are back. Yay. All right. So our lucky <laughs> contestants and staff, uh, we don't have a plucky name for them yet. We, we might stumble upon one later, but for the time being, our heroes are setting out into Cape Karma. The last uh, glimmer of sunlight has faded as night falls over the town. Um, it's not as dark as you might think for a ghost town, though. It looks like the crew has gone through and retrofitted lighting rigs all throughout the city. Not necessarily to give it good lighting, but to give it moody lighting that will look good on camera for this reality show. And looking through your Cape Escape app, you see the list of keys and hints for each one for how to find them throughout the city. So I am going to set this journal to Observer and Show Players. So now you should see this journal pop up and you can also now reference it in the Journals tab at any time later. These Ooh, are the keys to the city. The app tracks how many of the keys you found, with 10 of the 12 being required to unlock a Tesla. Uh, tapping each of the keys displays a hint to help locate it. Three of them are grayed out with a lock icon on them, but they still display a hint. You think that might be related to the scripted encounters that were mentioned. Um, gotcha. If you read them all in order, they kind of spell out a poem of sorts. Uh, all the hints together say, from the sunless skies, a star did rain down. The preacher saw it coming and got out of town. The mayor's new hobby kept him too busy to notice, while those in the smoke lodge were eating their lotus. A general sense of malaise took root in our hearts, as the workers in the shop put down their part. We first heard the whispers that danced on the wire, then they grew louder as if cast from a spire. Last call never came for those drowning their sorrow. Not even the sheriff would last to the morrow. Our lives at an end, not even ice could preserve, as we finally got what all sinners deserve. That's morbid as fuck. <laughs> but each of those appears to be a clue to locating one of the keys. I think immediately Sandals is is like taking notes on his own phone and like kind of just talking out loud to the group and he's going, All right, sunless sky, star did rain down, star, that must be observatory. Preacher saw it coming, got out of time. Preacher, that's going to be the chapel. Mayor's new hobby kept him too busy to notice. Okay, mayor's new hobby, that might be the town hall because that's where the mayor's from, but it might also mean something like the roller barn or uh, the boudoir. I'm not really sure which one that could be. Who really knows about that? And he's just kind of going through and like immediately in game mode, sort of even oblivious to the people around him. It's very clear to all of you that he not only is in this to win this, but is like serious about this and also very experienced and like might actually have a very good chance of winning this. Definitely pick last as a kid. <laughs> then fucking win it for us. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> are we at the observatory yet? <laughs> are we going to the? Are, were we going to the observatory? Um. So that that was where uh, where Manifesto wanted to go, uh, but what? I kind of want to spend a point possibly mm -hmm. early. But I don't know if this is something we can do. So I know I know that we can spend points to win something in the moment. Mm -hmm. Can I preemptively spend a point to do something like actively in in the off chance we stumble upon something? Yes, that is a fantastic use of investigator points. Anytime you have an idea of something you could do that would be related to one of your investigative skills, 
absolutely ask it. These are very fun things we can explore to use up your points to affect the story. So what is it that you want to do? Okay, so as we're walking, Sandals, because he's in this investigative mode, like, I want to put across to everyone how serious he is. Like, his pupils are razor thin right now. <laughs> like, he is <laughs> vigilant. Uh, he is noticing everything. As we're walking through the town, he is looking under doormats for keys, looking in bricks. Like, he will see a rock and pick it up. I want him to be paying very close attention to noticing anything that may be out of the ordinary, but not just like, oh, there's like a group of people over there. He knows how to cut through the chat. He understands that a lot of people are going to be observant, but not the way he is. He wants to be looking for the sharks and he wants to keep an eye out for any possible thing that could be a clue or any person who might be getting ahead of them. Well, that's what Grayson's here for. He can see like, oh, those people are getting ahead. He can just target them as like, hey, that's a safety issue. I need to stop you guys and check you. <laughs> and he reports back to us. So do I so is, do I press the plus here to spend a notice point on that? Is that what I would use that for? Or do I use a yes. different skill for that? That would be a really good use of notice or analysis. I'd say either one for that. Uh, I want to save analysis in my back pocket for a, an opportunity to brute force a riddle that I might not be able to actually solve. <laughs> so we'll use notice and I just press the, is it plus? And then I press the little uh, looking glass. Yep. Okay. All right. You have spent one point of notice. And yes. you have spent one point of notice to look through the crowds, gauging the people, look through the city, gauging what is going on here. Like, I, I want it to, to paint the picture, right? Like, Sandals is a... Like, he's so good at escape rooms that he might... In, like, puzzles and ARGs, that it's, like, almost academic life or death for him. He's wow. he's so good at these things that he's not a fun person to do an escape room with. <laughs> like he he will hear someone say something like and he will be like, no, that's just not the answer. I'm sorry. Like They'll be like, what if what if it's a, oh, the night sky? Um, well, one time I saw a shooting star over the well and he's just like, no, that's not the answer. So that's the kind of like hyper vigilant, hyper aware hyper focus he is right now and he's just going to be kind of quiet looking at his phone and taking notes this entire walk to the uh, observatory he's going to be quiet mm -hmm. i mean wow. unless you talk to him <laughs> then he will not stop then the dam burst forth <laughs> all right so as you walk you pass uh, through from the bottom left up towards the night sky ob observatory at the top right and you take notice of each of the buildings that's marked on the map. Uh, some of these buildings actually aren't here. There's fewer than are represented on the map. It looks like this map is more a stylist, stylized rendition of the town. There's a lot of scrub grass that's not represented here. There's a lot of ruined buildings that are falling apart. Uh, but it looks like three of the buildings on this map have panels on them that allow them to be remotely locked from a distant control room somewhere, you notice. And since there's exactly three, that lines up with the three locks in the clues on the app. So you notice that McCree's Diner, the Chapel House, and the Throat Lodge are locked in this manner. You also ah. notice someone else noticing this. And now that night has fallen, we have a darker representation of the town. Ooh. Can we just get a time check really quick? What time is it right now about? Um, it is probably about six o'clock and uh, oh, it is song. the darkest uh, time of year. So it's actually already just gotten dark. It probably got dark around 530. How quickly does it get cold here at night? 
uh, very quickly, and it can drop okay. down to 30 degrees. So you and Javi are actually dressed correctly for this we're, occasion. We're good. Yes. Uh, Mr. Mostly Naked in a Leotard, maybe not so much. He's got that inner heat, man. <laughs> fire <laughs> fire <passion>. inside. <laughs> so let's get this guy up on the board. Uh, before you can get to the observatory, you run into a large pear shaped polar bear that you recognize all too well, Sandals. He has his arms crossed. You catch him looking at the same locked doors that you are, and you get the impression that he's coming to the same conclusions that you are. I he, think... Okay. I was just going to say, I think Sandals is, like, he notices this person and is going to... He, he's, like, hackles are immediately up. Not in a, like, I don't like this person way, but in a, like, very clearly now understands the stakes and that this person is a potential not rival but like there is another player in the game now there are it's not just sandals and a bunch of npcs anymore <laughs> so and mikey isn't is like, the only one here who refers to people's npcs good enough yeah and like his posture is suddenly straight as a board like he is full professional now as he is walking great. up and I think it's enough that everyone else could notice this if they were paying attention. Uh, so as you walk up, the bear nods his head, bowing it down slightly because he's so much taller than you. This is an absolute mountain of a man, but that's pretty common for bears. And he says, uh, is some like, um, sandals, sandy. Ice, hmm. ice, how you doing? It's, it's ice, not ice. Americans mm. always get it wrong. But uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing quite well for myself. Um, how are you doing? Are you still... I haven't seen anything of yours in my recommendations for quite some time. Oh, yeah. I've been working on, like, a big project. It's kind of, you know, something I, I wanted to just get out there and, uh, and just publish when it's done, you know? Uh... When you make content sort of like I do, it you really want to be super thorough and just not publish things, get too hasty before you have all the information. Uh, I wouldn't want to have to publish a bunch of like retractions and corrections and postmortems. Uh, that being said, I did watch your last postmortem. That was that was actually pretty interesting. Uh, I didn't really realize people were still covering the the Slenderman stuff. I haven't really watched a lot of that, but I mean. Uh, it's cool to see that someone's doing the archival work. He, he sighs deeply, and you can tell he's annoyed when you bring up Slenderman. It's like, a Slenderman is, is for children. You know I do real work now on things that actually happened. I have a segment on True TV coming up. Oh, yeah, the true crime stuff. Mm. Yeah, I just I, it's one of those things where it's like the algorithm is so mean to it. It's just I don't know if it's super optimal for web anymore. Hmm. Well, be that as it may, I, I'm doing well enough for myself. I'm, I'm glad to hear you're still hanging in there. Well, yeah, someone's got to do it if everyone else is going to drop the ball. Oh, Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. You have fun with your little friends and leave the Teslas to the grown-ups. They are very high-performance vehicles. You wouldn't understand. How hard is it to ship one of those back to Germany? I mean, does it even... Can you even drive them on your side of the road over there? I think they're mostly fit for America. I'm not sure Mr. Mann really fitted out with European cars. Just, you know, asking questions. Oh, don't worry about it. I will keep it over here in my beach house. I have a beach house because I uh, I own more than one property. I'm not still slumming it in my parents' basement. Oh, yeah, that would be a real shame to keep having to record on that shitty mic you used to have. <laughs> Your production value has increased so much over the past two years. 
You can see his hackles raising in return as as you mentioned his poor audio quality. The thing that keeps him up at night, having the night terrors going, no, there's popping. Mouth noises. Mouth noises. Uh, yeah, uh, well, if if things are good, then things are good. It's a pleasure to see you. Um, best of luck I, in the competition. Yeah, oh, it's so great. I think Sandals is very sincere when he says this next thing. He goes, I do really like your work, you know. But the underlying idea here is that he really just doesn't like ice very much. Uh, and instead of returning the compliment to you, he says, I like my work too, as he departs. <laughs> Ooh. Jet just gives out a big sigh and then just pat sandals on the back a little too hard. <laughs> Ooh, uh. Chin up, Anyone goggles. Anyone else feel kind of weird? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a little weird. Yeah, ooh, uh, ah, I feel oh, really warm. Is anyone else I, feeling really warm right now? Is he a, oh, is he a YouTuber or something? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's funny. He's like an old buddy of mine. We used to hang out in the same internet detectives group, but he kind of did a pivot to true crime. And honestly, I think that stuff is kind of exploitative. It's just doesn't sit right with me. And a lot of the people he hangs out with are just mired in all this controversy and stuff. And so that there's a little bit of tension. And, you know, we tried to let him back into our group, but then things started getting a little bit weird. And yeah, so now he's like off doing his own thing and I don't know, there's some still there's still some lingering tension there from his side, I think. No need to so he is from you. his side, you can see <laughs> Sandals is like fully like picking at his own fingernails, like not super happy about the fact that they interacted. Always a shame to run into your ex. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, did you run into your ex or something? I don't, uh, hmm. I don't think, hmm. Yeah, I don't think Janine is here, he says, and then he looks at his phone for a second. He's like, yeah, I don't think Janine is here. Just completely not picking up what you put down. <laughs> <laughs> so after that little encounter, uh, our group is able to finish making their way to the observatory. All right. As we arrive in the observatory, we find that it has not suffered the wear and tear of time particularly well. Some of the buildings here in town, they don't necessarily look brand new, but they at least look functional. Uh, this looks like someone smashed it with a hammer. Um, a really big one, a million times. There's rubble strewn everywhere, uh, loose wiring hanging out, Grayson's having a conniption. Um, but. As you uh, look through, since all the windows are gone, you can see straight through this building. There is a large antique telescope rotting in the center of this abandoned building. For the time being, you appear to be the only ones here. You think they have scabies here? Is that something we need to worry about? Uh, I didn't have that on any of my preparation, but I, I wouldn't rule it out. Great. Don't roll on the floor then. Bad idea. <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised they are letting us into some of these buildings at all. I mean, these are just as dilapidated as some of the sketchy places I've been to before. This doesn't seem legal to me. I don't really get this, but uh, I, this is this is awesome, though. I mean, I'm getting great pictures. I think Sandals like hops on the floor like two or three times and the boards are like creaking underneath him. And he's like, yeah, I, I think there's a pretty good chance we could die in here. <laughs> and then you hop a couple more times. <laughs> yeah, mm, these are really I don't think the floor is very safe, so we should be a little bit careful where we step. Manifesto looks through the telescope. Um, you look through the telescope and you see nothing because it's pointed at the ground and there's not enough light to really illuminate it. Uh, you're not even sure if it still goes a straight connection through the lenses anymore. Mm -hmm. But uh, give me a... Do, 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 do. Interfacing? 
Yeah, you want to spend uh, an interfacing point for me? Sure. Yeah, that. So that's a one d six plus oh, one. No. Or? For uh, your investigation skills, you just spend them. You don't even roll anything. You just spend gotcha. and you succeed. You get it. Okay, I'll spend There's one of those. No question about it. Okay. So, um, by interfacing with this device, you you feel how it's intended to be used. It's definitely supposed to be pointing up at the sky. You're not sure if someone turned it this way or if it just got battered by storms over the course of the years after the roof fell out of this place, but it's definitely not supposed to be pointed at the ground the way it is. And when you look at where it's pointed, you see a glint of something shining in the ground embedded in the ground okay all right so uh, we want to go take a look at that get a closer uh an eye for what's glinting um do you have your phone in your hand right now it's around my neck okay then as you bend over and dip down close to this mysterious object you feel a buzz on your phone Oh, okay. Uh, a new subscriber. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. As always, need it, bleed it, read it. Live in La Vida Loca. Okay. Oh, okay. This might not be that. Um, so, what's on my you, phone? When you look at the phone, you have a push notification from the Cape Escape app, and it says, Key to the City Unlocked. Uh, looking back down, you see you it occurred when your phone got close to a strange, craggy rock embedded in the ground. It almost looks like a meteorite. Interesting. Okay, is it something that you can uh, pick up? Um, when you try to pick it up, uh, it's either extremely heavy or it's bolted to the ground. You're not sure which, but you're not making it budge. Mm, even me. Even you. Wow. Um, if you want, you can give it your all and give me an athletics test to try and pry it out. <laughs> you, you know, Manifesto actually doesn't have that much athletics. He's got that, uh, we call it Milwaukee muscle. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, he's going to pass on that. Oh, right. I. What did, what did you find there, uh, man sh wait, sh sh Manifesto? Sh Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, got it you've been paying attention i like that bro uh so i got a key so you know looks like we're on our steps to to win in this thing yeah question mm -hmm. uh does it unlock for all of us as a group or does it unlock for manifesto it unlocks for manifesto do you want to try uh, getting your phone close to it to see if it unlocks for you as well yes so uh sandals noticing what is happening uh pulls out his phone and uh, walks over immediately. Uh, when you get your phone close enough, uh, you get the push notification as well with that key to the young city. Uh, key to the city is unlocked for you as well. Uh, near as you can guess, there's probably an RFID or near field communication chip embedded in it that just goes off when it gets close enough to a phone with the app on it. Hey guys, I think we need to put our phones up to this rock. Really? Yeah, I think it's like some sort of chip reader or uh, like Bluetooth or something. Look at that. This is wow. Yeah, it just unlocked something. I don't want them getting my information. <laughs> <laughs> so I take I think... it uh, uh, using Sandal's recommendation, Javi has downloaded the app and set it up now, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we have three people with it. I think uh, at this point, Sandals is also like looking at Manifesto's phone and then Manifesto gets another notification and it's, and it's that Sandals has subscribed to his channel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. We're going to have an event. I'm going to be going to Chipotle next week. <laughs> oh, Chipotle. A live vlog. Yeah, yeah, you should check it out. All right, now where are we going next, man? Uh, I mean, you're the leader. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, I am the manifesto and you are the decrees, but I do like to consult my followers. Oh, so it's like delegation. 
It's a democracy, baby. Ah, uh, <laughs> but like representative. Sure, baby. <laughs> huh. Before, I think I follow. Before Sandals can decide on where to go next, uh, the three of you that had the app installed get another push notification that says McCree's Diner will now seat you. Oh, I mean, I guess I am kind of hungry. I haven't I eaten since this morning. The, the Cold Cassidy, I don't think they call him that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it... Sandals doesn't know what you're talking about, but he just says, yeah, I think I heard about that. <laughs> no. Uh, can we see the map really quickly? Yeah, let me get that back up. Thank you. Thank you. Is I there a place uh, where we can reference out. this? Yeah. Let me create a little journal entry for that. I think uh, for clarification, Grayson definitely downloaded the app because mm -hmm. uh, Sandal showed him the map and he was like, yep, I need to have this. Excellent. But I don't know if he's configured it in some way that would register him as a contestant. So there is one thing I think Sandals, I mean, I want to do, and this is a little bit just gamey, but uh, you said we have Wi-Fi, right? Yep. Uh, so first off, Sandals wants to message his internet friend mm -hmm. uh, and just ask uh, if Iceberg has posted anything. <laughs> like, have you seen, uh, have you, did you, he, I think he phrases it like, did you see what Ice posted? As in a, like, prompting the other person to respond with what it is, because he doesn't want to actually look uh, <laughs> and inflate his view count. Uh, oh, so but, petty. And then without even, like, waiting for a response, uh, there is one other thing I want to check, and it's, because we have Wi-Fi and the Cape Car the, the Cape Escape app has its own map, I think just in the, the interest of being thorough, Sandals would open up his actual GPS like maps app mm -hmm. and see if there is anything different between the the town map on the app itself and what was here before whatever staging happened that would give him clues about what to do or what might be sticking out. That's a good idea. So are you looking at the satellite view? Yeah, like he's looking at like street view, not like literal street view, but like yeah, looking at- Yeah, the street view doesn't come out here, he unfortunately. The, yeah, the street just view as, doesn't go past Route 66, which you have to come off of to get here. Yeah, I think he just wants to compare, like in the same way that you can, you know, when they, when you build like a new development and then you look at it on Google Maps and it's like a construction site. Mm. I think he wants to he wants to look and see like, all right, what is here as part of the facade of this town that might be like here for game purposes versus what was here before that might legitimately just be like a shitty old shack that no one demolished. Like, he's just looking for clues. Okay. So, pouring over it and comparing, um, are you guys walking to the diner as you're looking this over? I mean, does everyone want to get food? I've been driving for hours. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like some food. Do you think it's actually a diner, or is it just part of... I think Sandals of... fully wants it to be a place where he can eat like chicken nuggets like i think he thinks it's a diner uh and it, he's hoping it's themed <laughs> if this isn't a real diner we gotta go over to the craft tent afterwards yes, yes. i'm good <laughs> okay so, you don't want to uh, go to the craft tent <laughs> no offense why not <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what'd you do to it uh, as you pull up uh, uh, Google Maps and look it over, uh, it looks like pretty much all the buildings are the same here. There's actually a little more damage uh, that you've seen firsthand uh, than is on Google Maps. Uh, looking at the bottom where it says when the photo was taken, uh, mm -hmm. the last aerial photo of this place was taken in 2017, which is pretty old for Google Maps. Usually they try and get within like two to three years to have everything yeah. up to date. Uh, 
They just leave out some of the unincorporated areas that no one cares about. And turns out that's what Cape Karma is. Gotcha. Okay. Um, uh, the only thing that stands out is there doesn't appear to be a lighthouse on the Google map. Hmm. I think that is something he puts quietly into his like notes app like he just like you know types with an underline like no lighthouse question mark but he doesn't vocalize it so that's just i mean between you and me as the dm like that's something that he makes a note of but doesn't doesn't bring up uh speaking of notes i added a player notes journal in the journals tab uh, feel free to uh keep track of notes in there if uh, you don't uh, want to do it in an external app uh up oh, to you perfect. That is uh, there for you to use. And I think you can hit add page at the bottom to add additional pages to it. Can you read what we write? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me delete all that. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Okay. So we are headed to the diner after looking through that map for comparison. Let me open my diner notes. Hmm. That looks pretty modern. Yeah, it looks pretty modern if retro styled intentionally. Sandals walks right in and just like super excitedly plops down in one of the benches. <laughs> uh, let's see. A bell rings above as the diner door swings open, revealing a quaint little boxcar diner that looks straight out of the 50s. The somewhat cramped confines leave little gap between the seating and the service counter and back. Uh, beyond the service counter, three open windows peek into the grill line, with a door in the back leading beyond to a larger kitchen. A jukebox sits opposite the exit on the far side of the dining room, next to the bathroom to the unisex, or next to the door to the unisex bathroom. Yeah, uh, just kind of mumbles to himself nostalgically. Never uh -huh. order the strawberry shake. The strawberries aren't real. <laughs> so as you enter and the the bell rings uh someone appears to hear that bell and comes to see you you see a bright cheery owl woman a little heavy set uh, in a diner waitress outfit clutching a menu under her arm and she looks so pleased to see you uh Everyone who has at least one point in pop culture immediately recognizes her as renowned character actress Margot Theus. <laughs> God damn it. This, this is a famous character actress who never actually like plays the leading lady or gets it much awards but she's always like a really key supporting character in a drama or a horror movie she is an absolute chameleon that can play a million kind of roles she is a national treasure and we cherish her and I think as I watched you <laughs> good I think I watched you die. <laughs> um, one shining thing to say to someone you've never met before in this situation. So as she comes up, she, she gives pause as you tell her you have seen her die before. And she tries, you can see a little bit of a smile forming on her beak and she tries to banish that away, get back <laughs> into character. And she's like, uh, Oh, sure, we see all kinds of things out here. Doesn't mean they're real. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen y'all in town before. You, you here for the winter? <laughs> I think the gears are turning in Sandal's head as he's trying to understand what's happening, and then it clicks in. Yes, yes, we are. And I will have one strawberry milkshake, please. Uh, All right. Well, I'm not sure if we got that on the menu, but here's the menu. Um, just point to whatever you want on it, and I'll get it. I'll get it started up for you, straight as straight straight as I can, sugar. Uh, sorry, the jukebox is on the fritz, so it might you might have to eat your meal in silence tonight. And you look over, and there is an out of order sign on the jukebox. 
Uh, rats. Jet, Jet's still smoking. <laughs> Manifesto is trying to look for the QR code on the menu. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no QR code on the menu. Uh, but uh, let's see. We do have a handout of the menu that you can look over. Ooh. <laughs> if you flip it upside down. What's it say? <gasps> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Prolonging right. the meal. <laughs> There's something <laughs> deeply funny about referring to dessert as prolonging a meal. <laughs> so uh, when you're here, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so after she hands uh, you menu and then... Um, goes uh, to a stack of menus that's on one of the tables and starts passing them out to everyone as I assume some of you are seated, some of you oh. are still standing. Okay, no, I, 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 I'm, I caught up. <laughs> I see what's happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, after she gets that done, uh, she yells uh, back to the kitchen, Daryl! Daryl, we've got guests! <sighs> Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go have to wake up Daryl. He's probably taking a nap. Um, y'all, y'all see what you want, and then I'll get you si si situated uh, after I come back. The absolute insane irony that this menu does not contain any cake. <laughs> so, you, <laughs> as you mentioned that, you you do notice there is a delicious looking three layer cake uh, sitting on the counter next to the register in a glass dome. Um, it is very inviting but it doesn't appear to be on the menu. So Margot departs and heads back to the kitchen. Uh, you hear the, the kitchen door shut behind her. And then a moment later, you hear a scream. Her shrill owl voice cuts through the diner. And then you hear the click of several locks slamming shut throughout the diner. It seems the scripted encounter has begun. Shit, we're really committing to the bit. I guess we're doing like a murder mystery kind of thing here right now. What's going on? Well, you're in Cape Escape. This is probably an escape room. Right. right. Grayson, you know, I love it when you think like that. Yeah, I love it. We need more of it. All right, now. Goggles. How'd you know that was going to happen? <laughs> it's a good question. Mm -hmm. Answer the question. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's an actress. I think I watched her. She plays like a dining uh, lady in like a lot of movies. Uh, just recently, I think she guest starred... Uh, on Creekdale, and she got murdered in the back of a diner then, too. Uh, so you're Does saying no they... one watch TV? <laughs> no, not really, but uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't surprise me that they didn't come up with an original storyline for this, so that's... that's I, just, I just watch YouTube contract. shorts. <laughs> oh, the, the ones yeah, with the, the family got clipped, the ones with the subway surfers, I fucking love those. <laughs> now... She mentioned the jukebox. You think we should fuck around with that? Absolutely. I was going to try to put something on in the first place. So on the menu, there's like some big ass letters like next to the sorbet and shit. Maybe we should like put in those prices on the jukebox and it'll play some shit that'll get us out of here. That, that's, hmm. actually, that's actually kind of clever. So as you approach the jukebox... You see this. I'm actually going to go mark these as uh, observable by players so you can refer back to them later. Sorry, Shug. Sorry, oh, Shug. That's, sad. that's great. I love that. <laughs> can I do this? We need to look at this and make sure that there's no. Uh, no little coin or NFC chip somewhere on here that caught it. Kind of secret. <laughs> huh. So if you look behind the paper, you can see some shit behind it. 
Fly me to the moon. High hopes, love, let me try. These are all songs. Uh, that's numbers, life. Though. Yeah, no life's my way. Interesting. She's crying a tear. Uh, I think Sandals wants to get up and check if he can go into the kitchen. I think he's just literally going to walk behind the counter, like, as if that isn't a weird breach of, like, <laughs> business etiquette, and just try to push his way into the kitchen. Right. Grayson so you was, was definitely heading that way, too, just to make sure it wasn't a real scream. Speaking, speaking of breach of etiquette, Jet's just going to serve himself some cake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the, the two of you going uh, back behind the counter, back behind the register and that adult huge cake that uh, Jet's going for, uh, you see like a line cook operation with several grills and some fridges, but it looks like the main meat of the kitchen is in the back behind that door. Um, mm -hmm. Looking through that door, you see the big circular window at the top but it's like grind over with some grease and shit and you can barely see anything through it and it does appear uh, that that door is locked uh i don't know if this would pass health inspection the jukebox is now observable and the menu is now in the journal list. uh and jed as you go to approach that cake uh, underneath the glass dome, you find that there's a padlock on it. Sorry, not a padlock, a combination lock. Oh, come on. Staffy's for free. And here's what that cake looks like. Like, bro, it's, it's just glass. He's well, really feeling it read about now that he was stopped from going home for dinner <laughs> did you eat anything from the table you were setting up or are you on an empty stomach right now no oh, oh. brutal he was uh given his general attitude he was mostly stocking those items as a prank <laughs> not fit for human consumption so wait, 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 wait. You know that there's that padlock with the combination shit, but then there's those bold numbers on the menu. What if we put those numbers on the padlock and then you get the fucking cake? Like even more than you have right now, bro. I mean, I, I saw those glued shit. <laughs> LRL. I think Sandals is fully inspecting the cake now. He's like just walking over. There are initials on the top. Can you give me a menu item? How do I? Oh, you click McCree's Diner. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. It took me a moment. Gotcha. So, I, could I uh, could Manifesto try nine fifteen seven on the the fucking padlock? Sure. Um, do you go left? Do, it. do you go left first or right first? Fuck, I don't know. I try both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, you try left, right, left, and. Uh, with 9157, that doesn't seem to work. Right, left, right with 9157 also does not seem to work. Yeah. Uh, Damn. Shoot. They're trying 9157. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Uh, I was going to say maybe the pictures are out of order with the. Uh, uh, with the type of food, but no, it seems like they are in the correct order because these are the Mexico City street tacos and then the fashion nuggets, I expect. <laughs> uh, and then the sorbet. So I was thinking maybe we had to do it in the correct order, but it doesn't match, so I'm not sure. Thieves receive just desserts. Sharper knives through Chicken McNuggets. Can't seem to get the jukebox to open up. I'm, just, I, I'm horrified because I just I grew up with these three albums. <laughs> it's good. That is good. <laughs> Italian leather sofrito. <laughs> I, I thought the short uh, short skirt take steak with long jacket fries was yeah. particularly inspired. 
Yeah, yeah, yakisoba. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. Let's see. If there's anything else in the diner you want to rub your eyeballs on or rub some of your investigative abilities on, let me know. Or if you just want to marinate on these clues, you can do that as well. Is there uh, anything else behind the counter? Um, let's see. Uh, the cash register is there. The behind the counter goes into like the the grill line area, so you see like all the normal supplies you would see back there, uh, tableware. Um, oddly, you don't see any like oil. Huh. That's something you would normally want to see on a grill. The grill is cool. Maybe I should be like looking inside of it. Uh, do you want to look inside the grill? Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Uh, you look inside the grill. It looks like it's never been used. This is like a brand, ooh, excuse me, a brand new grill that looks like it's just been ordered and shipped in here. Oh yeah, that's suspicious. Let's let's take a look at that thing. All right. Um, let's see. Looking it over. Yeah, it looks absolutely brand new. You're starting to get the impression that this this is a newly renovated area and this grill is part of the decoration here this is not actually a, a diner that is in service or has been used by anyone in a long time can sandals just do a quick like scan of the room to see how much of this stuff is functional and how much of it is like fake do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like when you when you look at a, a, a spread of like fruit on a table, is it real food or is it fake? Like so, he wants to figure out what in this room is a facade. So my first idea for this puzzle is to make it a what is cake encounter. And like there's hidden objects that are actually cake, but I decided not to do that. That's, you just reminded <laughs> me of that. <laughs> I think Sandals takes a like, like very cautiously takes a bite out of one of the leather sofas and then is like, uh, no, mm, no, <laughs> no, that's just real. leather, just checking. Um, and as you bite it, well, actually, your tongue does uh, unveil the information that this is not real leather. This is pleather. <sighs> so well, um, I guess that's vegan. <laughs> uh, looking around the place, everything looks real. There's just a few items missing that you would need to actually service a restaurant. Namely, you don't see any food anywhere other than the giant cake. Hmm. As the only food, the cake is still not going to be real cake. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a fake cake in there for all you know. Oh no. <laughs> Sandals presses his face against the glass of the cake, mm. trying to see if it's real. <laughs> his eyes are just super wide. Mm, I don't know. It looks pretty real, and on your empty belly, it looks pretty appetizing. Javier's is very still uh, has his attention focused on this grill and just starts like turning knobs, trying to turn it on to see if like anything happens. Uh, as you start tur turning it on, it looks like it's a, a gas powered grill and you're seeing things light up, but there's no gas actually running to it. So the pilot light is just flip, 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 flipping on nothing. Hmm. <sighs> this makes Grayson feel a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm beginning to think they don't really serve food here. <sighs> Do not tell me that. Let's see. All right, with food on the line, he's incentivized. So the answer <laughs> is, uh, is, is 12, right? 12. 12 is always the answer. The lock says lawyer proof, and only lawyers could afford Italian leather sofas, so... Answer's 12. So you just oh. set the tumbler to 12 only? Yes. All right. Nothing happens. 
damn it. The lock says lawyer proof. Yes. <laughs> I was going I was going to say like with my preparedness, I have watched lock picking lawyer and I'm going to just smack the lock and make it open. <laughs> that's how master locks work. They're so cheap. Thankfully, they sprung for the lawyer proof <laughs> lock, which doesn't uh, fall in the same pitfalls as the back. Damn of it! Lock. You thought of everything. <laughs> Did you guys read the text on the back of the lock? Yeah, I'm trying to look at that now. Uh, see if I can make out anything that it says. It says thieves, thieves receive just desserts. just desserts. Is there a cash register? There is a cash register. Uh, Sandals walks over to it and immediately presses the uh, exchange till to open the cash register. Inside the till is a single dime. 10? Huh. That seems like that could be a number, one of the numbers to the combination. Or it, maybe it works with the jukebox? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try plopping it in, because we're not going to forget the number 10 if we lose the coin. Can we can Sandals walk over to the jukebox and push the coin return? Uh, sure. Uh, nothing comes out, so there's nothing in the coin okay. return yet. OK. Should we just put the dime in there, see if it does anything? I, th I think that's a good idea. Go for it, man. All right. So Sandals just plops it in there. All right. Uh, you plop the dime in and the jukebox lights up. It seems to be working despite the out of order sign on it. Can mm -hmm. Sandals politely take the out of order sign off the jukebox and fold it up and put it in his pocket? Save it for later. <laughs> yeah, yes. he just wants the drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. All right, okay. so you do that. Uh, I don't have a uh, version of the model without that, though, so I'll have to peek beneath it to see uh, no, it's, what, it's uh, fine. what's there. <laughs> All right. Uh, is it lighting up? It, it lit up like we... But it is ready and waiting for you to pick a song. Ready to pick a song. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do this. Ah. Let's see. What what songs are on here? I'm looking to see if there's a cake song on there. No. Hello, but high hopes. No. There is a Blue Frank River. Sinatra. There's a couple of Frank Sinatra songs on here. Thieves get just desserts. Can we click New York, New York? All right. Uh, you click in New York, New York. And uh, the record uh, is lifted up and put on the needle. As the needle drops, you begin to hear Bad Reputation by Joan Jett. <laughs> huh. so I was thinking New York like, cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like whatever is written on those uh, buttons isn't actually what's in there. Gotcha. So those buttons might be a clue. Hmm. Strangers in the night, that's life. Look the way you look tonight, my way. When you're here, it's your turn. <laughs> Can you just try to press my way and see if the song changes or if it's going to ask for more dimes? Uh, the song immediately changes over to Killing in the Name of. <laughs> um, well. <laughs> and it doesn't appear to uh, require a new dime. It, it might be on free play mode now that you think about it. Huh. Hey, can, uh, can Manifesto, can he ask his chat, his live stream? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get banned? <laughs> uh, you, you know what? That's a good idea. What uh, what does Manifesto have in the way of investigative abilities that would be a good representative of that? So, all right, so let's pull up his little sh shtick here. He's got uh, languages, pop culture, flattery, flirting, computer use, and interfacing. Uh, go ahead and spend one of your interfacing points because you spent one back at the observatory. Yeah, I just added that for so yeah. it's, it's on there. And um, I'd say computer use for uh, op opening up and talking to chat would be a good use of that. Okay. 
Manifesto's very brave, streaming Ridge against the machine. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's, 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 got, got muted. <laughs> he's got it muted. I, I don't think he has enough followers for fucking anyone to catch on. <laughs> um, all right, but yeah, he's like, hey, muchachos, hey, my luchadorables. You know, this no. is, I'm a really smart guy, but, you know, this is getting to <laughs> me, man. Well, if, you, if there are any brainiacs out there, who want to be part of the decrees, honorary, uh, lend me your ears, man. Post in the chat. So you've had problems before with how thirsty your chat gets. Um, and all three of them right now are saying, go to the bathroom, show us what the bathroom looks like. I want to see the bathroom. Hmm. You know, that that's, that's bold. I haven't even thought about that. Let's, let's just go take a look. So, like, as he's get... as he's walking oh, okay. in there, Sandals is like, didn't D- Doctor Disrespect get banned for streaming from a bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> um, manifesto stops mid mid step and just like, oh yeah, the boy's got a point. My boy, my baby, Sandals over there, Sandy. I you know I got to cover it. And so he just like flips his phone around and heads inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you head into the bathroom, you see uh, there are no urinals. There's just three stalls and three sinks. They all look pretty modern and well clean, though. Um, It's immaculate, actually. It looks like no one's shit here. You could take this bathroom shit virginity if you wanted. If that's a thing you're into. That's a horrible thing to say, Game Master. (laughs) Don't say it again. (laughs) Don't you ever (laughs) tell me that again. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, so there's only a boys' bathroom, and there's no girls. You mentioned <laughs> urinals. It, it's uh, unisex. There are no urinals, just three stalls. Okay, gotcha. look at look at the graffiti in the doors. Yep, <laughs> yep. Oh, <boy>. Shit. <laughs> One of them's a real surprise. Toy Story Two was okay. <laughs> Toy Story 2 is great. How dare you, whoever wrote this? It's the best Pixar movie. Get out of here. You know what? You don't know which side they're defending from. <laughs> no, I see, oh, I no, see little things fighting. like glory hold to hell. Maybe, maybe we should cut that open. Maybe it's, a, <laughs> it's a clue inside. Yeah, let's just start uh, sawing to remove the puzzle. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> I think any of us have cutting utensils unless we if there's someone in nearby. Cut the room metal stall. <laughs> well, this shit's usually plastic. Yeah, it's plastic, but the uh, the studs are metal holding it no. together. You can definitely cut th- through the plastic part. Yeah, have you ever Sandals? cut a glory hole before? It's, it's not that hard. No, <laughs> it hasn't come up yet. It's on my, on my bucket list. Sandals sees the glory hole to hell sign and he starts looking for an actual hole somewhere. Wait, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. That sign, it matches the one on the fucking jukebox, doesn't it? Ah, it does. We have the star. Actually, no, it doesn't match. I'm looking at it now. There's an extra point. Shit. <laughs> We're not supposed to stick our dicks in it. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, all, all of the uh, all of the text on the stalls is all written with the number two. Uh, every time uh, the word two is supposed to be there, uh, I doubt this is the combination. But I'm gonna go back to the padlock and just put in all twos. I'll one, try both one directions. Of the all twos. One of the twos isn't replaced. Uh, all right. If you try two two two, it does not seem to open the padlock. Damn it! I knew that wasn't gonna work, but the, these the, I feel like this is telling us something. So, so maybe we're two, supposed two, to go three, number two six, in every single one of these. Two, three, four, Do you have it in you? I, I mean, I had a lot of skittles earlier, man. It's gonna come out colorful. <laughs> if only we had that cake. <laughs> Mm. What do we need to roll for 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 shit? <laughs> uh, that'd be a, a health roll. <laughs> oh, I want to no. make sure they flush before you uh, before, <laughs> before you do that. Yeah, is there toilet paper? <laughs> uh, there is toilet paper. It, it's at least stocked up enough in that regard. Even though it's I a did functional not remember bathroom. Them <laughs> yeah, so so maybe we should board. do some flushing experiments. Yeah, um, this toilet seemed to flush just fine. 
Uh, they're the automatic flushers, so you can't uh, control your own flushing tempo, which infuriates some people like me. They just go but off at random startling moments. Yep. Interspersed the entire time you're in this bathroom looking at clues, they just periodically make the loudest noise. <laughs> yeah. Every time Every you time move you out of the down. Shelter. Yeah, so, uh, what if, what if we fucking flush them all at the same time? Okay. I'm trying to o overload the, uh, <laughs> sewage system. I'm, I'm uh, sure the plumbing's great here in this abandoned town. Uh, uh, some of them back up a little bit, but eventually they fight through it. They manage to flush just fine. Okay. Uh... I was thinking maybe one of the songs from the jukebox might be from the Toy Story 2 soundtrack, but I don't recognize any of them. <laughs> or one of the alternate songs that it plays. Yeah. Do you want to mm. use a spend from one of your investigative abilities to try and pierce yeah. the... Yeah. Can we use some pop I culture think, on here? Yeah, I think, I think yeah. Sandals at this point would be using pop culture to just be like, what are... Like, is there any correlation between stuff on the jukebox and and the the uh, the references in the stalls? OK, so opening Sandals Mind Palace of all the media he has consumed throughout the years, you recognize these are all Frank Sinatra songs. Yeah, all of them. And Frank Sinatra was mentioned on the menu. Uh, I'm a genius. Look at that. It's the first thing I said. Frank Sinatra sorbet costs seven dollars. So, do I have to press the seventh button? You could. That's probably the prices of the three. Is there three Sinatra items? There's one Frank Sinatra item. Mm -hmm. Well, the seventh button would be New York, New York. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's one that I already pushed. And that got Let me look. Joan Jet. That got me Joan Jet. What happens if you push that crazy star symbol at the bottom of the jukebox? Absolutely. I guess Sandals nothing. would just kick it for a second. He's like, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it's it's not a button that doesn't nothing. even depress. All right, hold on. Jet's eyes lemma. He's gonna try to follow after, follow after the direction that he saw the lady go in. You try oh. and just force the door. Start knocking on it. Peach <laughs> cobbler. Seven. Pen. Just starts knocking on the door at this point, ma'am. I know, like, K Fab and all that, but. You got a bran muffin, at least. <laughs> Please, I'm dying out here. You do not get any response from the door, unfortunately. Hmm. Hey, babe, bro. Fab. <laughs> All right, let's see. That's life, the way you look tonight. That got me Joan Jet. you said. Mm-hmm. Damn. But you did mention Pentagram and Frank Sinatra both appear on the menu. That yes. can't be a coincidence. Yep. It is, that it is true. It cannot be. So <laughs> this is an actual problem is that I don't know the I, I'm not 100 sure what the third thing would be. Dime key lime yep, pie. Dime. So seven, ten, eight or eight, ten, seven, maybe. I'm just going to start going through the combinations with the lock. All right. Uh, going through those combinations, every permutation of 8, 10, and 7, uh, you get it to work with 8, 10, 7, left, right, left, and the lock comes undone. You are able to access the cake. Way to go, nice. Sandy. Uh, I think Sandals, like, really carefully uh, removes the glass and, like, sets it aside, but, like, motioning to Grayson that he's, like, putting it somewhere where it's not gonna fall off and shatter into 47 billion pieces. Appreciate like, gives him a Andy. thumbs up at the same time. And then really carefully just, like, sticks 
the very tip of his finger directly into the center of the cake. Uh. Like just like <laughs> pokes it in the worst possible spot to touch it without washing his hands. Oh. Uh. Uh, your your claw tip pokes through. This is real cake. Oh, hey guys, it's real cake. You guys can eat it if you want to. <laughs> he sits with his finger in it. Ah! Yeah, he he uh. like wipes his paw off on his jacket like a little bit, or like pulls out like a tissue from his pocket and just wipes it off and throws it away. But no, there's like no. ferret fur now, like a paw no. print in the top of the cake. <laughs> oh, excellent. Ugh. Jet's gonna look for plates. <laughs> uh, you do find plates. Uh, you don't find any cutting implements, though. Grayson is also thankful for this. <laughs> Grayson, for just the lack of any sharp objects in existence. Yeah. How yeah. firm is the menu? Can I just fold up the menu and just use that as like a makeshift knife to cut through the cake? It's laminated, so yes, you don't even need to fold it. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm just going to cut us each a slice uh, right through that thing with the menu. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you uh, cut through the cake and start dividing it up, uh, you find an, an actual metal key in the bottom of it. Oh. oh, hey. That's like a choking hazard. <laughs> Grayson is Let's... no longer happy. Yeah, I mean, the menus, they're like a prime vector for bacteria. <laughs> they usually don't get washed well. Oh, yeah. You're like the safety like coordinator, so if someone gets sick, like you, you're gonna get in trouble. Oh, did I leave Margo here? She she left a while ago. Oh, yeah, I thought you were just staring <laughs> at us. She's just <laughs> staring at you, watching you solve the puzzle. She died right there. <laughs> she just screamed and just stared and said nothing else. They say her ghost haunts the diner to this very day. Was there a lock into the the back room? Yep. I guess you gotta use that key. It takes a moment to remove every strawberry from his slice before he digs in. Uh, you notice the fruit on the cake is fake. It is only the cake that is real. Yeah. Some things I, never I messaged change. You, I messaged you a question, Cod, that I, I just need a yes or no answer to. But I wanted I need it to be private from the other players. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh... I guess I didn't mean to roll it, but uh, I'm spending right. a preparedness point yeah. uh, so that uh, this it is at this point that Jet realizes that Sandals is eating like a package of like those spread cheese on the like saltines crackers. <laughs> you just had those. Did you? Uh, is anyone else hungry? Did someone else want anything? <laughs> You're just Why so didn't focused you say on the puzzle. Do not enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. What the hell? I take a bite of the cake. Yeah. So after everyone's had their fill of cake, uh, leisurely taking your time when a woman may have been murdered. Uh, you, uh, you're left with a, a key and some clean pates and some full bellies. So, key? Back room? Yeah, might as well go check it out, right? I Presumably someone's dead back there. But you guys really don't have any urgency, do you? Yeah, I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> I mean, I, we had puzzles to solve. <laughs> There's Wait, more. more puzzles beyond the door. It's true. <laughs> Act to cake. I mean, as we're walking, I, I think at this point, Sandals is just going to walk through the door. And uh, the thing the thing that I actually want to use my preparedness point for here was to uh, to immediately wipe up all of the grease on like the window and like see if I can actually clean clean up what is obscuring our view uh, and, and make sure we don't like slip and die when we walk in. Unfortunately, it appears to be on the other side of the window. Oh, I thought we were walking through that door. Oh, sorry. Uh, after you walk through the door, you're doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so after you walk through the door, you start cleaning the window. Um, oh, you, Moving into that room, let me just show it real quick. Uh, da, 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 the kitchen. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, the kitchen is a lot dirtier than the front of the restaurant, the dining area. It it looks like an actual well-used kitchen, uh, not like a movie set almost like the front room looked like. Mm -hmm. well, let me get my notes open. Yeah, so I, think, in, go ahead. Oh yeah. I was going to say, I see a door in the back. Are there any other doors kind of around that corner down the hallway, or is it just this one room? Uh, just the one room. Um, as you head into the rear kitchen, um, there's both enough rooms and workstations to create a wider variety of meals back here. Um, as you look, sprawled out on the floor is the tremendous form of a brown bunny. Oh. Looking down, you see what looks like someone that Jet recognizes as Goose. He's wearing a stained uh, line cook's outfit with the apron and the, the little paper hat. Uh, and he's sitting in a plug in, in a puddle of red liquid that appears to be viscously seeping away from him slowly over time. And that is where we're going to end for tonight. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Killed Goose. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like this video, definitely subscribe, and please consider supporting Noel playing games on Patreon. There is a lot of custom art that needs to be paid for to make these shows possible, and as a thank you for your support, over the next few months you'll gain access to short stories that develop the Cape Escape universe, as well as behind-the-scenes peeks at our upcoming series, Dead Laws.